That's Thank awesome. You, that, like. Thank you so much, man. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Hello. Welcome to Lisbon, Portugal. Today's a really, really exciting day. Uh, as I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video, uh, somewhat of a monumental occasion. Uh, however, before we actually see the car, uh, we've got a two and a half hour drive from Lisbon Airport all the way down south uh, to a, uh, an area on the southern coast of Portugal called the Algarve. The reason we've started so far up here is because at this time of year there's no flights uh, which are readily going to the Algarve. So we're about to fly into Lisbon first and we've uh, got our lovely Aston Martin transfer which is going to take us all the way down south. And hence this massively fat Java chip Frappuccino which is going to work wonders for my power to weight ratio on track later on. Without further ado, let's uh, navigate our way through here. Head to the Algarve. Lack, lack of the lugs. Yes. This is, uh, this car. is the first. You just pick it up from the dealership. <laughs> you just brand new. You exactly. just picked it up from the dealership. Exactly. I was, I was hoping for an Aston Martin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're, still, they're still going to. They, they won't give us a good deal yet. <laughs> next time. Next time. Okay. Have a, have a nice journey. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very bye much. Bye bye. Good to meet you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wi-Fi. If you've, uh, you've got Wi-Fi inbuilt in the car? Uh, there isn't built in the car, it's not, still not set up. The car okay. is 200 kilometers. <laughs> oh, oh, so you weren't kidding it. It actually is brand new. It is brand new, exactly. Oh, amazing. Yeah, well, we are 278 honored. kilometers. Wow, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. Okay, uh, but we do have Wi-Fi uh, separately. It's okay. uh, The name of the network is VIP Chauffeurs, uh -huh. and the password is VIP on board, all lowercase. Perfect. You have some sweets, some waters. And if you need to have a stop, uh, we have uh, service areas every 40 kilometers. Every 40k? Yes. This is well set up. Yeah, it is, it is. It's a good highway. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Nowadays, if you want to know something, just look uh -huh. it on YouTube. Exactly. Of course, exactly. whatever, whatever it is on the internet, uh -huh. not, not, not always is true, but... <laughs> it's true, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I started filming cars uh, two and a half years ago, and it was purely for fun. About six or seven months in, I started getting invite from, invites from brands to say, do you want to come and check out this car? Do you want to come and do this? Because come and do that? They are very aware of the power of media, That's the power it. of YouTube. Now. Yeah, and so it's kind of, ever since then, it hasn't stopped. And last year we took 67 flights. <laughs> and 67? 67, yeah. So all around the world. Yeah, and it's absolutely non-stop. But uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's, but it's actually a dream. It's a dream uh, job. So. I can't believe it. <laughs> Welcome to sunny Portugal, everyone. Uh, we've just arrived at the hotel in the Algarve. Unbelievable weather, absolute torrential. You can just see the ocean over there. It looks like a sort of gray swamp because it's so overcast. And look at the sky. Look at my friend, the seagull there. Even he's chilling. Anyway, let's go and check out this car. Check this view out. This is on the way down from my room. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at it in all its glory. Right. Let's make our way downstairs and talk about the title of this video. <laughs> so, I have done some videos in some pretty strange places, but I have never done one on the top of a fountain. I mean, literally, this Vantage is suspended on top of a fountain. What you can't see is that the water is probably an inch deep to access this car. Now, by convention, this car isn't typically accessible. Uh, it's just that I've arrived here early and all of the other cars are out. Um, and I'm dying to tell you this news before the sun goes down. And typically, 
It is absolutely pouring down. If you watch this channel regularly, you'll know that it's become a bit of a rolling joke on this channel that it's not a Mr. JWW video uh, unless it's raining. And lo and behold, we have traveled a thousand miles to southern Portugal, um, which has, I think, 280 days of the year of sunshine, and uh, it's absolutely pouring down. Anyway, hence why I'm inside this car suspended on top of a fountain. So, the news. As the title would suggest, yes, I am getting a new Aston Martin Vantage. What is life right now? Now, as a bit of a spec overview with this car, let's not beat around the bush. The engine is developed by AMG. It's pushing over 500 horsepower, uh, and it is their familiar four liter twin turbocharged V8. The journey for me has been fascinating because I have been with this car, I would say almost from the start. Now, that's more of a public start. If you followed my journey on Instagram, you'll know that um, I was honored to be invited to be the presenter of the live launch of the Vantage when it launched towards the end of last year in Shoreditch of all places. But it was a massive honor. I did both their Facebook Live and presented this to a live audience for its global launch, which was an incredible honor, but as a result, Aston Martin and this car particularly holds a very special place in my heart because I feel like I've been really close to this project since day one on the public facing side. Obviously this car has been in development for many years but here we are in Portugal for the first dynamic drive of this car. Now the embargo for driving impressions is I think the 11th of April so I can't give you any driving impressions so this is the perfect opportunity to tell you that yes I am getting hold of one of these cars. Now Let's be clear about this. Aston Martin are giving me one of these cars for a few months. I think it's around about three months, uh, which means I'm going to get to live out the summer with the Vantage. Um, I saw a spec when I was at the Geneva Motor Show, which was absolutely incredible. I sat inside it and there was all these neon trims and beautiful surroundings and the outside was in this gorgeous sort of like flat battleship gray uh, and it had lots of Q parts on it. Uh, Q is their sort of um, atelier stage where you can go crazy on bespoke options and the show car in that gray with lots of Q options looked incredible. I sat inside it and the first thing I thought to myself was if I like the way this car drives as much as I do the way it looks the chances are I'm probably gonna end up buying it <laughs> um, I've never really spent that much time in Aston Martins fun fact my uncle is actually a classic Aston Martin restoration specialist uh, so when I was growing up I spent a lot of time around classic Aston's I even helped him refurbish a few myself however modern-day Aston's I've never spent a great deal of time with but on paper at least, the new specifications, the the platform and the components that make up the new Vantage are incredibly appealing. The collaboration with AMG for me is extremely exciting. When it was first announced that the partnership was happening, there was a little bit of controversy surrounding it, but I think it's phenomenal. AMG makes some of the best engines in the game and it's mated with some of the best looking cars. Ultimately, these cars are about how they make you feel and how these components add up to the overall driving experience. And for me to have AMG as a partner and one of the most important partners, the engine area, just ticks such a massive box, so I cannot wait to drive this thing. Now, the format of the next few days is that, as mentioned, we're here in the Algarve in Portugal. Uh, I'm going to be spending two days here, one day on track, one day on road, and eventually give you driving impressions, which won't be until April. To say I'm excited both to drive this thing, first of all, is a massive understatement. I cannot tell you how excited I am to turn this thing on. Uh, during the rehearsals of the presentation when I live launched the car, we did turn it on and it sounded so good. What's amazing is, despite the fact that they have the AMG engine, the way that they've augmented the exhaust sound incredibly still sounds very signature Aston Martin, which is a very clever and very important trait. So to be able to drive the Aston feel, the Aston ethos, but have the drivetrain and engine of AMG, I mean, what more could you want? Just look at the way this thing sits. The stance of it is amazing. Now, no doubt over the next few days, we'll be able to see some cars in some different specs. And I'm sure what has become famous iridescent neon yellow will be available, which I can't wait to see in person, but more importantly, 
rolling because I find when you see cars dynamic, when they're actually active and under load and they've got that sort of driven squat about them, you get a much better feel for how these things look in movement. So far, I've only ever seen it still. And even on top of a fountain, <laughs> on an inch of water, it looks incredible. So to have the opportunity to share with you guys as soon as I'm allowed to drop my driving impressions, I cannot wait. But until then, we're here and I can give you this incredible news. Now, up until now, I don't have the spec of the car that I shall be taking delivery of. The car will arrive in April sometime, but until then, it's speculation. So let me know what you guys want to know. The idea of this is that I get the opportunity to live with this car and bring real life, first hand information and examples of what this car is like to live with. Now, just by the way this seating position is, it feels so promising. I just hope, I hope so much that it it drives as well as it looks, it drives as well as it feels. The way that this seating position is, it just feels right. The car that I sat in when I launched it was beautifully positioned as a driver's car. The back of the seat sits down low, so your ass sits low. The rake of the wheel was very uh, adjustable and importantly, comes right up to your chest. And when you're in it, it sort of cocoons you. It is a beautiful environment in which to sit and I'm hoping that all of these these signs, all of these signature traits are starting to add up to what I've experienced in the past to be a very promising formula. When the attention to driving details are as such, when you sit in it, it feels right, the chances are it probably drives right. So yes, the news is big. Um, I still can't quite believe it. Um, I'm honored once again that Aston have said, would you like to live with one of these for a long time. Uh, it took me all of a nanosecond to say, yes, absolutely, that would be marvelous. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see from my time with the Vantage. Um, even though we do have it for a few months, those months fly by, but it is in the peak supercar season. So we've got road trips, track days, all sorts of events to go to, and I will be taking it to events for people to see. Uh, so be sure to tune into my social media, particularly Instagram for updates as to where the car will be. Um, and let's follow the journey. Just look at this, by the way. The One of the things that Aston Martin do well is style. They seem to have this timeless essence. Again, I have no idea what the car that I'll be having for three months will be like. Who knows? The one that I sat in in Geneva, the neon interior contrast panels were just exceptional. So hopefully we get something with some Q treatments. Uh, but follow the journey, please. I don't really ask you to subscribe that often, uh, but it's not every day that I get access to a car so soon that is so new with such uncharted territory. So if you're interested in Aston Martin and if you're interested particularly in the new Vantage, be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell if you want alerts because this is going to be super first-hand info from one of the earliest cars on the road. Incredible position to be in. Thank you so much Aston Martin and or, as always thank you so much to you guys uh, for supporting this channel so much because if it wasn't for you opportunities like this wouldn't happen so thank you so much. Now comments below I want to know all about the things you want to discover with this car. This video can drop before the embargo because it's not a driving impression so in the next two days I've got driving impressions to film let me know in the comments below also what you would like to see from that super exclusive opportunity uh, and I'm so thankful. So yes, that is the journey. That is the news. As always, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Ciao.